Hello and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host Brian. We're going to wrap up this week's theme of The Blank Song where we look at songs whose titles are The Something Song. <laughs> Checking out a band I've never heard of before but I'm, in, I'm intrigued by. It's called Carissa's Weird. But Carissa's is plural so Carissa owns the weird not saying that Carissa is weird or maybe it is Carissa's weird yeah because you would do apostrophe s for that as well wouldn't you Chris is weird yeah okay so maybe I'm not so intrigued by it. I just needed to verbalize things so my brain could figure them out anyways we're gonna look at the track the piano song off of the album songs about leaving Yeah, depending on how you feel this, it could be triplets in four or a very slow four. Beautiful layering on this as well. Yes, I'm loving the volume dynamics. Short, sweet, beautiful. Um, I'm intrigued though. I would 100% listen to more of that. Hopefully, something with more meat on the bones. They do have quite a few songs sitting around this two minute area. On this album, uh, we do have some the over three, couple at four, we got a six and a half. So it's kind of all over the place. <laughs> but these titles are killing me. <laughs> I really want to believe that this is the type of music they make, in which case I'm going to check out the rest of the album. But... <laughs> <laughs> the song prior to this is ignorant piece of shit. And like, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a nice classical composition that would give that vibe. <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, maybe. So, um, like I said, I'm intrigued. I don't know if this is the kind of music they always make. They have a song on here called Low Budget Slow Motion Soundtrack Song for the Leaving Scene. And that is very post-hardcore to me. Pop rock, maybe. And... <laughs> so, you want to be a superhero. Silently leaving the room. Like... I, I don't know what to expect from, from the rest of this album. Anyways, we got to talk about this track, uh, the piano song. 
There is not much going on here. We go through an A to a B section and we revisit the A and then put lyrics on top of it and close it out. It is two minutes of two sections, um, but it is gorgeous. The song is in 3-4. We have a string duet. I think, uh, if not, there's some really interesting choir sound going on them. But I think it's two strings, two higher end strings. And then the piano. The piano is our foundational element. It is what plays the repeating lines that dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da dun over and over and over. It is designed to move along with the chordal progression and to act as the static foundational component for our moving flowing string section to uh, play over. However, these sections or these roles do get reversed in a couple of areas where the piano takes on a more moving uh, idea and the strings kind of carry this background just holding out long note component. Um, it is exceptionally emotive. That is my favorite part about this. If this is digital, if these are synthesized virtual instruments, I'm blown away <laughs> because there's so much about this that tells me that they're being played live. And I love that. It makes me think they have a pianist and a couple violinists in the group, which again, just makes me want to listen to more of their work. But it's, it's little nuances. It's the attacks. It's how they sustain notes. It's the difference in volume. It's little moments of uh, intonation. Normally I'd say intonation problems but or issues, but I'm going to assume that they want them in there. They've kept them in there. The two string instruments have these moments where the they play the same note. They every, Everything they play is the same note. But it has a bit of warble to it, a little bit of dissonance. Somebody is just a hair bit flat from the other. and uh, But it adds a lot to that note that's being played, at least as far as I'm concerned. There's so many little nuances in the performance of the strings that when it comes to that little bit of intonation going on there, it just feels like another character. Uh, another characteristic of the performance. It's not out of place. They're not out of tune. The dissonance is intentional and it helps add to it. And we get this song that is melancholic, but not downtrodden. There is energy, there's forward momentum. Um, I'm curious what the lyrics are about because usually... You don't utilize this type of speed with uh, something you're aiming for melancholy with. Usually you want something a bit slower to have that feeling of weight on someone's shoulders as uh, you know they have something heavy looming over them. But they find a way to combine it. And I think part of it is going to be the difference between the two lines. I mentioned the piano kind of has this moving element. It's what you can most clearly feel the three out of, but the the violins in the A section hold out notes for the entirety of the, the three, four, the bar, the entire bar of it. And that's where I was counting earlier in the reaction, where you can kind of feel this in a very slow four as well. And I think that the inclusion of the slow four is what helps drive the melancholy home despite the piano emphasizing a faster three four um, and having a bit of momentum and, and forward movement in its line as well. But when you look at the, the chords and what they're doing, it's it's very clear, at least to me, that there is a... Uh, melancholic aspect to it and that is only further driven home by our dual vocals at the end of the track which are just so low energy and barely even audible 
over the piano and violin. They're just a very low vocal range, low energy, not a lot of air pressure. And I'd say that the um, the harmonization there as well isn't super tight either. It's a very loose harmonization that implies a little bit of dissonance uh, as well. They're not perfectly playing these notes. There's a hair bit flat, hair bit sharp, and uh, you get a little bit of this uh, this tonal difference. And to me, that just kind of leans into that lethargy of this overbearing weight. And the music giving me that melancholic vibe just leans into that and they just kind of support each other. So it makes me curious about where the piano sits in this. It doesn't detract from the overall vibe. If anything, it complicates it in a positive way. But it certainly doesn't amplify what the rest of the song is aiming for. The last thing I want to talk about, and it's a real quick thing, is just the layering of this. I love how they bring these two lines together in a multitude of well, two ways, our A section and our B section, um, and allow both of them to have different roles, kind of replace each other and move in and out of the, the spotlight. It's very easy once you kind of create something where you're the foundational instrument, you're the melody instrument, and just kind of sticking with that through an entire song or maybe even an entire album. And, you know, they have an exceedingly short song here, and they still found time to do a role reversal real quick and to change things up a little. And I just like how the layering in this shifts who's doing foundation, who's doing lead. All right, I'm going to look for the lyrics, those... I don't know, 16 words that were said at the end, and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so yeah, we have four lines here. You'll find relief somewhere between the tree and its shade. When you go away, heaven's a distance, not a place. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> You'll find relief somewhere between the tree and its shade. Well, a tree and its shade are in relatively close proximity. Uh, the shadow that a tree casts or the shade that it provides is always next to itself. So you'll find relief in a very small area. When you go away, heaven's a distance, not a place. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> and I certainly can't tie this back into the music at all either. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is a short video, but those are my thoughts on Carissa's Weird. I feel like I need to listen to more of this album though because uh, man, <clears throat> just a beautiful track and the the rest of the song titles have caught my attention what did you think of this one though anything in here that stood out to you anything you'd like to add on to anything you think I missed talking about maybe I should have I don't know 13 minutes feels very short but I keep remembering it's only a two minute song I'm trying to keep that in mind and just letting the song <laughs> letting the video end um, put put your comments, your thoughts down in the comment section though. Above that, there's a description box in there. You'll find a link for Linktree. Takes you to this menu right here. Has links for everything related to the channel. You can find ways to support the channel. You can find a link to the Discord community. You can find a link to the music I've written and so much more. Go ahead and check that out. Above that, if you could like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I greatly appreciate all three of those. We're going to do a creator request uh, later on today and a special selection coming up now, soonish. Um, if you're watching this live, you got about 10 minutes till that comes on. All right. Uh, until next time, remember to be critical, not cynical of the music you listen to and have a fantastic morning, afternoon or evening whenever you choose to watch my videos. Mm -hmm.